Nevu is kiss me super strength. Welcome back to Let's Play Canon Standard Edition for the PC. And let's see if this is the right scene that I think it is. My face is turned not down the connecting corridor, but rather down that which houses the staff room and commons area. There she is! There, gazing out of a window at the cloudy sky, stands a girl with epic music playing in the background. Just standing by herself, as though she's come down here to escape the lunch hour bustle. Hey! I recognize that face. That beautiful face! And stuff. She glances at me, without so much as a flicker of interest. Then her eyes return to the window. You're a third year? I didn't notice in the dark. The color of the ribbon on her blouse gives it away. Just like last night, she knows I'm here, but that seems to be completely irrelevant to her. Hmm. What did you mean by evil spirits? What did you mean by evil spirits? Too direct, perhaps. You left your sword at home today, then. Surely you haven't about forgotten last night. Remember that guy who showed up randomly? That was me. <sighs> I'm tearing my hair out in frustration. How can you converse with someone like this? Oh wait, let me act him out more like... <sighs> there we go. All I want is an answer. Just a yes or a no would do. Do you remember me? Oh my god, she talked. Huh? You're older than me. There's no need for something so formal. A simple yes or no will do. Well, I guess the main thing is you answered. Maybe it's time to change the subject. So, what are you up to today? H have you had lunch yet? I see. You want to go to the cafeteria? Uh, are you on a diet or something? <sighs> then as I struggle to think of a question, like... Likelier to succeed... A voice coming this way. A girl rushes up to us, another girl in the year above me. Okay, allow me to point out something to your viewers. The person who does the voice acting for this girl right here, also the illusionary will girl from what I've noticed from Clannad... Uh, yeah. Had died a couple of days or a few weeks back. I heard about it the other day, so for that, uh, let's see here. Where is it? Let's have a moment's silence for that voice actress. Okay, that's more than a moment now. We're uh, that out of the way. Let's just continue on with the game. Wrong one. Somehow. Man, I'm so tired right now, I don't even know what I'm doing. There is volume setup, isn't it? There we go. Man, that was awkward. Dude, you gave away the name. She registers my presence with considerate, considerable surprise. Damn, I should really get some sleep. I'm equally surprised to find that this unsociable girl, my, was it, apparently has a friend. Her boyfriend, I thought everyone knew. Hurry up and deny it then, she'll believe me if you're not careful. Too late.
She looks at me again, clearly struggling to place me. Uh, we met here last night. Just talking about it now, in fact. If you can. Call something like that all I was going to say. But I hesitate. Maybe she hasn't told her friend about her demons. Eh? It's my turn to look bewildered. What a girl, quite my opposite. I guess it must be pretty rare for anyone to try to talk to her friend. Hmm, why not? My life isn't nearly interesting enough to allow me to turn down such an invitation. You lucky bastard! You get to have dinner with two, two very attractive girls. You lucky bastard. Sure, okay, why not? Why does this guy get all the girls? Why? What's he have that us our guys don't have? I mean, what the hell? Okay, he has confidence, I don't have confidence. Maybe that's it, who knows? Maybe I'm just too weird. Yuichi's weird as well. Shut up. Where to? On the roof? Won't that be a bit cold? Oh, because going on the roof would just be preposterous. We reach the top of the stairs. Landing up from the third floor. Here, my friend stops and begins to spread out a blanket. Mine hostesses, hostesses or whatever, plonk themselves down with scant regard for dignity. She begins to lay out boxes of bento, trying to open two at a time. I don't get why in, like, most translations, they don't translate it in the subtitles to bento, they just say lunchbox. We know it's like a lunchbox, but they clearly say bento, and if you watch anime enough, you're bound to know what it means. I likewise remove my shoes and sit beside them. We exchange laughs and glances as though this were a picnic. There really isn't anyone around up here, is there, at this time of year? N no, not at all. It's like a picnic every day. And there's her catchphrase that you will hear many, many times, viewers. <laughs> you should hear Nagisa's one in the Clannard story. It's like, <laughs> she does that kind of giggle thing all the time. It's kind of annoying, actually. You certainly could say that, but then what could possibly taste bad being surrounded by girls? Attractive girls! You lucky bastard. But to be honest, if I was at food and I was supposed to eat when there's like lots of attractive girls around, I'd be a bit nervous. Wow, that bento is just pure luxury. There are three boxes of okazu or whatever, and two just of rice. It's obvious from their un uh, unified appearance that this is the work of one person. Wh who made all this? Sh sh surely not. Shayuri, so that's what her name is. Normally, I automatically dislike people who refer to themselves in third person. Oh, well, you're not gonna like Fuku then, are you? But this girl actually manages to pull it off. For some reason, it just seems like a suitable affection and for her to display. She places before me one of the boxes of Akazu. Sorry to deprive you. While we've been talking, Mai has silently started to pick at the food. Well, she's simply shy or what. By the way, uh, sorry. 
don't think we've actually got around to introducing ourselves yet. I am Aisawa Yuichi. No, that's why I'm waiting. We have a name. Hmm, Kawasumi, is it? May I call you Mai? Okay, or no way. Of course, Yuri, Yuri, San, and please call me Yuichi. There's no need for you to be so formal. You're both older than I am. So they're like, um, I think 17, while Yuichi is 16. I'm not sure, really. Anyway, viewers, that's about all we have time for in this episode. So see you next time. Let's play canon.